Good evening. What we have here is a Gottlieb System 80A MPU that is from the games, game number 691. And it had a failed U4 switch matrix riot and a failed 5101, which is odd. Don't see that every day. But it was an AMI chip, and so they fail frequently. So I've got the board in my Gottlieb Spider Man. Let's boot it up. And it boots right up. This Spider-Man I modified for seven digits on player one. The rest of them are still six digits. And the sort of strobing you see on the displays, that's a video artifact of uh, recording and powering at 60 cycles. You can see all the uh, playfield lamps are operating. So let's put it into test. And we can skip past all the audits, go to test 16. Which is lamp test, so you can see that it's cycling all the lamps on and off. And the next test is solenoid test. Three, four. Are either not used on the games or I've scavenged the driver board transistors on this one. The sweet sounds of Gottlieb Spider Man. So I've cycled to the display test. You can see it's cycling zeros through everything and it's transitioning to ones. The ones are important to test because they're driven slightly differently than every other digit. So I'm just going to let the twos go through here. Alright, and now we're at test 20, which it shows uh, everything's fine. Switch 18, I'm sorry, test 18 is the switch matrix. So I've got my switch matrix tester here, uh, zero, 10. I'm gonna go across this first row and then down the first column. And you can see that all of those are working and I'm not gonna press this last one while it advances to the next test when I press that switch because it's the same as the Diagnostic switch. So this CPU board for the games is 100% operational.